Senator, selling health care coverage in America as a market marketable commodity has become a very profitable industry. Do you believe health care should be treated as a commodity? Well, you know, as I travel around the country, this is one of the single most frequently asked issues uh, that I get is the issue of health care. Uh, it is breaking family budgets. I can't tell you how many people I meet who don't have health insurance. If you've got health insurance, most of you have seen your premiums double over the last eight years. And your co-payments and deductibles have gone up 30 percent just in the last year alone. If you're a small business, it's a crushing burden. So one of the things that I have said from the start of this campaign is that we have a moral commitment as well as an economic imperative to do something about the health care uh, crisis that so many families are facing. So here's what I would do. If you've got health care already, and probably the majority of you do, then you can keep your plan if you are satisfied with it. You can keep your choice of doctor. We're going to work with your employer to lower the cost of your premiums by up to $2,500 a year. And we're going to do it by investing in prevention. We're going to do it by making sure that we use information technology so the medical records are actually on computers. Instead of you filling forms out in triplicate when you go to the hospital, that'll reduce medical errors and reduce costs. If you don't have health insurance, you're going to be able to buy the same kind of insurance that Senator McCain and I enjoy as federal employees. Because there's a huge pool, we can drop the costs. And nobody will be excluded for pre-existing conditions, which is a huge problem. Now, Senator McCain has a different kind of approach. He says that he's going to give you a $5,000 tax credit. What he doesn't tell you is that he is going to tax your employer-based health care benefits for the first time ever. So what one hand giveth, the other hand taketh away. He would also strip away the ability of states to provide some of the regulations on insurance companies to make sure that you're not excluded for pre-existing conditions, or your mammograms are covered, or your maternity uh, is covered. And that is fundamentally the wrong way to go. In fact, to just today, business organizations like the United States Chamber of Commerce, which generally are pretty supportive of Republicans, said that this would lead to the unraveling of the employer-based health care system. That, I don't think, is the kind of change that we need. We've got to have somebody who's fighting for patients and making sure that you get decent, affordable health care. And that's something that I'm committed to doing as president. Senator McCain. Well, thank you for the question. You, you, you really identify one of the really major challenges that America faces. Co-payments go up, costs go up, skyrocketing costs, uh, which make people less and less able to afford health insurance in America. And we need to do all of the things that are necessary to make it more efficient. Let's put health records online. That will reduce medical errors, as, as they call them. Uh, uh, let's have community health centers. Let's have walk-in clinics. Let's do a lot of things to impose efficiencies. But what is at, at stake here in this health care issue is the fundamental difference between myself and Senator Obama. As you notice, he starts talking about government. He starts talking government will do this, and government will do that, and then government will. And he'll impose mandates. If you're a small business person and you don't insure your employees, Senator Obama will fine you. Will fine you. That's remarkable. If you're a parent and you're struggling to get health insurance for your children, Senator Obama will fine you. I want to give every American a $5,000 refundable tax credit. They can take anywhere across state lines. Why not? Don't we go across state lines when we purchase other things in America? Of course it's okay to go across state lines because in Arizona, they may offer a, a better plan that suits you best than it does here in Tennessee. And if you do the math, those people who have employer-based health benefits, if you put the tax on it, and you have what's left over, and you add $5,000 that you're going to get as a refundable tax credit, do the math. 95% of the American people will have increased funds to go out and buy the insurance of their choice and to shop around and to get all those people will be covered except for those who have these gold-plated Cadillac kinds of policies, you know, like hair transplants. I might need one of those myself, but the point is, that we have got to give people choice in America. 
and not mandate things on them and give them the ability. Every parent I know would, would acquire health insurance for their children if they could. Obviously, small business people want to give their employees uh, health insurance. Of course, they all want to do that. We've got to give them the wherewithal to do it. We can do it by giving them, as a start, a $5,000 refundable tax credit to go around and get the health insurance policy of their choice. Quick discussion. Is health care in America a privilege?